honeybees! Today we're doing a haul plus try on. So obviously I can't try every single product out in this video just because there are some like duplicate lips or dupl duplicate highlights. So I'll have to do more tutorials coming up very soon using the products I don't use in this video. Yes, I am wearing this shirt for the third time because I filmed three videos today. I'm so excited about that. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content that's on my channel lately. If you're new, please do subscribe and click that bell icon to make sure to get notified with new videos. I do hauls, reviews, and a weekly vlog. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to start off with Ulta. I made an online purchase. And then I also have an in-store Sephora purchase. And a few extras. That'll be towards the end. Okay, so let's start off with why I made this order in the first place. The Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey Palette. You guys know I was going to get this palette. I really debated on it for a while just because I wasn't so sure that I was going to love the shades in it, but I should have a full review on this already here on my channel with this tutorial that I'm wearing today, so I'll make sure to link that down below. So far, I'm actually surprisingly really loving it. And the shades in here that I thought I wouldn't love, I'm using the most, which is Honey Bun, the yellow shade, and Honey Brittle, which is this kind of matte corally shade. They go so well together. I have the yellow in my inner third and that more corally, it looks like a sunset eye. I think that's why I love it so much. It's perfect palette for me going into spring and summer. And you guys, it smells like peanut butter and honey. I, can't, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how Too Faced makes their things smell so dang delicious. This is infused with antioxidant cocoa powder as well, just like a lot of their products are. And there are a lot of mattes in this palette. And I actually like the mattes the most in the palette. So really cute. Sorry to enable you if I am, but this is limited edition. So if you can get your hands on it and you like the warm natural shades in it, then I would definitely grab it. This is from Makeup Revolution and online Ulta was doing a buy two get one free um, when I ordered this from Makeup Revolution. So this is the Sun Kissed Highlighter in Peach Kiss. I'm actually going to be doing a video on my top new highlighters very very shortly and this might be in there, we'll see. I haven't made up my mind on this yet. I've only used this once, unfortunately it's not the one I used today, that's another Makeup Revolution product. But I believe that Karen and Lauren spoke about this on the Two Orchids channel. I'll link them down below. Um, it looks like a bronzer almost for me because I'm so pale. But when you swatch it, it's this gorgeous glowy peach coloring. And it's huge. Like it's the size of my hand. Beautiful packaging. I love that you can see through it. Love the rose gold around the edges. And it has a beautiful pattern on the inside. But look at that pigment. I'll have to, oh my gosh, I still have the honeybee palette swatches on my hand. Hold on. Or not the honeybee, the peanut butter and honey palette. Honeybee palette is in the future, right guys? I hope. Someday. <laughs> but there it is. Look at that. Ba bam. And you can see it has a beautiful peachy tone to it. So, so pretty. So I'm really excited to keep trying that out. I think it will look really much better on me when I have a tan. Right now I'm really pale. So this is the one I have on my cheekbones today. Look at that, you guys. Bam, that's a bam in your face. <laughs> and it's really inexpensive because it's drugstore. This is also Makeup Revolution, the Triple Baked Highlight in Goddess of Faith. Love the name too. So here is the highlight. Yes, they totally copied Too Faced. Looks exactly like Too Faced blushes that they came out with years ago. But I'm not hating on that because I love little heart-shaped things. <laughs> okay, so this one is a BAM highlight as well. Just a little bit brighter and really much better for my skin tone right now. Look at that! Ah, so pretty! I'm so excited. So the only thing I will say, make sure to really exfoliate your skin and have a great primer and base down before applying this highlight. Because I noticed when I applied this that it did show texture a little bit on my skin. I don't have a ton, but I haven't been exfoliating as much as I should lately. And I noticed it, especially on this cheek, that it's a little more apparent on my skin than my high-end highlighters. So that's the only thing I would say if you're dry skin, 
you probably want to use a liquid highlight anyways if you're dry skin, but this might not be your friend if you have a lot of um, texture on your skin, but it's very pretty. Last thing for Makeup Revolution, I did get this for free on the sale. This is their Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. It says new. I haven't heard anyone speak about this before, so I was very curious. I did use it today. The mist is really nice and fine. Mm. I like how it feels, but I don't like the smell. The smell is very chemical smelling. Um, let's see what the ingredients are. The second ingredient is alcohol, but I don't know how I feel about it <laughs> yet. I've only used it once. I mean, I do feel like it's making my makeup last longer, but I don't know if I can get past the scent. <laughs> so the verdict's still out on this, but I am enjoying it. NYX was buy one, get one free, so I ended up getting two of their HD Studio Photogenic um, Concealers, and I got it in Fair and Porcelain. Fair is actually a bit more pink tone, and that one works way better for me. I used it under my eyes today. I actually combined these. And then Porcelain has a little bit more of a yellow tone. However, it's a teeny bit lighter. So I like using these together. I love the coverage. I love how bright it makes my under eye. I think they are really beautiful, and I'm surprised I've never used them before, if you can believe it. Only thing I don't love is that you don't get very much product on the applicator, so I do have to keep sticking the applicator in to get enough for my under eye. So I feel like I'm probably going to go through these really quickly, but I do like them. Next is Sephora. I did go in store, and if you follow me on my vlogs, then you know that I went on a little hunt for the Nicole Guerrero collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a glow kit, and it is stunning. Oh my gosh. So I will do close-up swatches for you, but I'm going to tell you right now that my two favorites, well, I kind of have three favorites. It's probably not going to surprise you. These three right here, the more pinky tones and this white one, it kind of has like a pearlescence to it, um, like a shift, and it is so in your face, bam. I like to mix that with the other shades, so it's like a little bit, little bit toned down, but I wish I had it on my face right now to show you. But I'll make sure to do swatches and I'll make sure to show it, maybe me wearing it in a vlog, in an upcoming vlog, or I can use it in a tutorial soon. These are magical, and I'm sorry to tell you that I'm obsessed with them and I think you need them if you're highlight obsessed like I am. And you're going to see in this haul that I am very obsessed with highlights. That's like a sickness for me. That and lip products. But I love it. Definitely a good one to grab. So here is the Nicole Guerrero palette, Anastasia. This one here is Kitty Cat, Forever Young, Daydream, Forever Lit, Glow Getter, and 143. Speaking of glow, I have two Cover FX products that are brand new that are both so beautiful. First one is the new shade Blossom in the Custom Enhancer Drops. You guys know that last year I was so obsessed with these and I was really excited to see them come out with some new shades, especially ones that complement very fair skin like mine. So this one is a very pinky light tone to it, first of all. Packaging is all metallic and beautiful. I love it. If you don't know what these are, they are liquid highlight drops that you can mix in with your primer, your moisturizer, your foundation, or you can just layer them on your cheekbones like you would a regular highlight. But look at these. They're so pretty. I'm going to do the tiniest little bit, like one little drop on my hand here. So the Blossom also has a little bit of a pink tone to it. Look at that. It's right there. It's so glowy and beautiful. Ooh. So I do like to layer these kind of drops though. I'll put my foundation on, then I'll put these drops on, kind of blend it a little bit, then set my makeup, and then later go over with a powder highlight if I don't think it's bam enough. But these are so beautiful layered or on their own. So pretty. The other colors, I wanted them all, but but that was the one I really knew that I would use the most. Next is the Illuminating Setting Spray. So this, you do have to shake it. You can hear that. It does have a little bit of a illumination to it, but it's not straight up glitter 
coming at you. So that's really good. I do feel like it's more dewy of a finish, obviously. This is something that I can only use right now when it's not over 90 degrees here in Arizona. In the summer, it'll be too glowy. But I do really like it if you like that dewy, illuminated finish to your makeup. Next, I have a lip gloss from Smashbox. This I saw on my friend Megan. She, we used to work together at Sephora. You might remember her from one of my vlogs a way a long time ago when we went to IMATS together. This, you guys, is like a liquid rose gold gloss. Are you kidding me? I have it on my lips today over another lipstick. And this is in the shade Petal Metal. It is literally liquid metal. I'll do a close-up, but there it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it's not too sticky. I think it's so beautiful just kind of in the center of your lips to give you some beautiful highlight on your lips. And it doesn't, I can't really smell that well right now. I'm a little congested, so I don't think it has a smell. It's so pretty and has like a little rose gold dot on the end there. I love that. I definitely suggest that if you like a little bit of shine to your lips. Then I got their Real Double the Lip, their new lip, lip liner and lipstick in one. And this is a Nude Scandal, another beautiful nude shade. And at first I was like, this seems really gimmicky, and I don't know if I'm going to like it. It looks like very similar to their Real Mascara packaging, but slimmer. And it twists up on the bottom, and it's a teardrop shape. And it has the liner that's a little bit deeper on top and then the complimentary lip shade on the bottom, the more fat side of the teardrop. And you just kind of place it over your lips like this with the teardrop point side down. And then you have to turn it and do it on your Cupid's bow. I really like it. I like that it's all in one product, it's on the go quick. And I don't know how I would enjoy it in the darker shades, but the nude shade just blends so easy together. I even sometimes will just apply it as a lipstick, and I like the combination of shades. So, so far I'm enjoying this. I also splurged and got the Bronze Goddess Estee Lauder Illuminating Powder Gelée in Heat Wave. This is a re-promote from Estee Lauder. It comes out almost every summer, I feel like, spring, summer. And I've wanted this for a while, and I just decided to cave this year. I love the packaging. It's rose gold, and I just love it. And then it has this teal little button right here that lifts up. You guys, are you kidding me with that? It's so golden, and it's kind of like a golden champagne on me, and it's not too strong for my fair skin. I've really been loving it. It's very glowy and magical. Mm-hmm. Another must. And last two products I want to quickly mention are from Chanel. I was totally enabled by Flower Bomb. Um, Natalie, I'll link her down below with this blush. She did it like in her favorite nudes video, and it's called Golden Sun. And when I went to the Chanel counter, they might have been BSing me, but they're like, that's the last one. I feel like they always say that at Chanel, though. Why can't I open this? There we go. Isn't that so pretty? It's like the perfect nudish pink and I have it on my cheeks today. Oh, it smells so good. I mean, Chanel blushes are very fragrant, like very perfumey. But for some reason, I love that smell. So this is stunning. Absolutely loving that. And then I got one of their new reformulated Glossomers. And I got it in the shade Subtle. Subtle? I think it's Subtle. 744. Gorgeous. So gorgeous. I love how these feel on the lips. They're not sticky at all. They're so comfortable and they're super glossy and you do have some good payoff from them too. I'll make sure to do a close-up swatch. And I mean, the CC's on the cap here. It's just magical. <laughs> I'm so like I get so excited over makeup. This makes me so happy. So that's all for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these products and I will continue to try them out. They might be in favorites videos. They might be in future tutorials. So let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me try on um, on camera for you guys and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.